Well, I see some uh, what's called showy lady slippers. Really pretty plant. I'm going to go around and get my stealth cameras, my trail cams. See if I got any wildlife footage on there. Hopefully we get some good moose footage on there. Hi there, welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider. Well today I brought the truck into the main road out there and I walked in the rest of the way. It was a beautiful walk. I'm just in on a solo trip. I'm here to uh, cut up all the firewood around the area, cut all the wood here that's down. I'm also going to cut up all the birch that I cut before and get it all packed and split and put in the woodshed. It's a beautiful day. It's 20 degrees. It's sunny, cloudy, rainy, off and on. We're also going to have a couple of great meals. And we're going to try a new pond up on top of the hill. I really want to try that one up there. Okay, I'm going to start with the shed. Finish that off. I got to put the tin on the roof. So I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put some boards across on the roof to put my tin on. Then I'll put a, a board on the side to keep it more stable. And then I'll get started with all the wood. Well, we had sun, now we got rain. <laughs> it's raining pretty good, so I'm just gonna wait a while. I got all the boards put on top of the woodshed. Now I wanna put the tin on the woodshed to keep it waterproof. So I'll just wait for this rain to hold up, and if it don't hold up, I'll go ahead and do it anyway.
Okay, I got the woodshed completed. So I got the tin roof on. I also put a little shelf in here so I can put some dry uh, starter wood, some splits and that. I put some bracing on the side and on the back. And I put an extra board here to support the wood so it won't roll out. I put my wet wood on this side and my dry wood on this side. Whew, it's warm. The sun is starting to come out. It's 20 degrees. The temperature is not changing. It's always around 19, 20 degrees. But sometimes it's raining. Sometimes it's sunshine. Before I have lunch, I'm going to start on the wood. All the old leftover boards and things. I'm going to cut up and put on the shelf in there. And after lunch, we'll cut up all the birch and any other wood I got here and split it up. That's all the dry wood I got. The wrist is pretty much rotten and there's some plywood there that's rotten. So I got all that packed on the shelf. So the rest of it I'll just cut up and uh, burn in the burn barrel. And then we'll have lunch because I'm starving. I'll have my lunch outside today. So before I go outside, back at the wood, I'm going to make myself some chaga tea. So chaga is a fungus growing on the side of a birch tree. I'll let it seep in there for a while and we'll have some for supper. Chaga is a great tea. It has a lot of antioxidants. And when you get a steep just right and pour it up, you should have a little flowery taste. A little aroma of flowers and that's when you know you got it just right.
Golly, broke out my axe. I'll have to take that home and repair it. I got a smaller axe I can use. Get my little guy. Oh, sorry, the bus for this. Not very heavy. Too light. I think that's it for today, for wood anyway. Whew, it's warm, I need a break. We'll continue the wood tomorrow. Right now we gotta go and see if we can get a trout for supper. Forgot my dip net. I hope I don't get a big one. <laughs> I didn't bring my Zolio. That's two things I forgot. Well, it's been just over an hour. I haven't got a bite yet. Looks like it's going to be beans and bologna for supper. Well, I finally got a bite. Okay, no luck so far. It's been almost two hours. I have no luck on a silver one, but I did bring one extra. My five of diamond spinner. I'm gonna give that a try before I leave and go back to the cabin. So if you want to know how to tie on your knot, you run it through like that and you wind it around seven times. And put it through the hole like that. Oh, did I get it? And pull it tight. All right, we'll give that a try before we go home. One last ditch effort before we eat the bologna and beans. Well, that's a bust on a trout. I got one little bite from a little one. That's it. I don't know if the water's too warm. This is a very shallow pond, so Maybe you'll have to be here in the morning. 
we'll get up early tomorrow morning and try it. Well, we didn't get any trout, so I guess it's bologna and beans and eggs. So I need to warm up my chaga now, my chaga tea, Even got apple pie with cheese on top. Cream cheese. It's gonna be the best part. Good morning. Well, it's a beautiful morning. We're gonna go up on top of the hill and try that pond. One thing about filming, you got to bring a lot of gear with you. And then you got to come back and get everything. Well, we made it to the pond. It was a bit of a hike with all my gear. But we're here now to try it.
I'll give her a try. Beautiful morning. I'll start off with a spinner and then I'll go to fly. Got my fly rod with me. We'll start off with a uh, five of diamond spinner. I've been all around the pond. The pond is only like two feet deep everywhere. There's no deep spots. Which means there won't be no trout in here. This pond would freeze to the bottom in the winter. That's another pond checked off my list. I got a couple more I want to try this morning. But first we're going to stop and have a cup of tea. Well, I got myself tucked away in a little spot here by the lake. We're going to have a quick cup of tea. And then we're going to try another pond. I got a couple more I want to try. There's lots of ponds around here. But that one's a bust. It's kind of like a uh, natural spring. There's no brooks coming into it and a little brook going out. I brought this little saw along that that Gary gave me. I'll try that today. A little folding saw. Kind of neat. Yeah, so it's a little uh, Wyoming saw. Nice little saw. I also brought my my old axe. I've had this axe for a lot of years, maybe 25 years or more. It's got a stainless steel forged blade and a laminate birch handle it's also got an allen key to tighten it up when it gets loose in there and you could also use it for skinning like an ulu and it's really sharp Okay, so I'm gonna try something new today. This is a little tip my brother Willard gave me. You get yourself a little dowel and you make, make yourself some bannock, some flour and water, and you roll it around the dowel and you cook it over the fire and you pull it off and fill it with berries. So let's see if we can do that today. So I brought some birch bark with me today and a few little sticks there. I got some old wheat flour here. I'm just gonna add a bit of water. And mix it up in the bag. When you have lots of brothers like I do, and they give you some advice on what to do and how to make something, a lot of times they don't know if it works or not. They just wanna know if you're silly enough to try it. <laughs> 
I had to get a different dowel. I was a bit ambitious how much flour I had there. <laughs> oh, my kid was boiled. Here, let's try it. Put that aside, let it steep. All right, I got my little bannock done. I've done bannock before, but I never thought about putting a dowel in it and then filling it after. And I got some cinnamon. Not bad. We're finished our tea. And that wasn't bad, that bannock and berries. I'll have to try that again sometime. So we're gonna go back to the cabin now, dump off some of this gear. So we got another pond to try. So I gotta quickly run down to the end of the lake and get to my other trail cam. I got it stationed by the old moose there that was dead. Cause I'm hoping to get some bear video. Well, the bear's pretty much got all the moose eaten. He's got a few bones and things left. So we're going to go back and try the pond I tried last night. Wow! <laughs> I got one right outside the boat! <laughs> yeah! Ah, uh, uh, come on. Uh, look at that. Right by the boat there. <laughs> That's a beauty. I tried the fly rod. I didn't want to look at it. I had to go back to the spin cast. Got none. Hey. Ooh, they're crazy. Ah, 
That's another nice one. Ooh. Got two. Oh. Yeah, I got a good one here. Lost him. Ah! Ah, man. <laughs> Come back. Ah. Come on. I'll tell you what, they're really they're barely biting. Barely, barely biting. And I'm running out of worms. I got one worm left. I'll tell you what's good when you run out of worms is that fin right there. So we're going to try that one today. Now, let's see if they go for that. Another one on. Oh, this guy's a bit bigger. They're not biting very good, so I gotta nurse them. That's a little better one. Ah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Look at that one. That's a nice one. It's like the first one I caught. The rain is coming. Well, the rain is coming. We gotta get back to the camp. But we managed to get four trout. Not bad. Nice trout. Pretty good. I think we'll go back and add one for lunch. I expected to get a lot of rain this afternoon. But we're definitely getting rained out now. They are beauty. They're like sea trout. Whoa. I think I just broke my chair. <laughs> I get some dry clothes on, I get some lunch. Well, that turned nasty fast. <coughs> the rain is just pouring now. And the wind is starting to pick up. I had a viewer tell me, if you cut the backs of your trout, they wouldn't curl up in the pan when you're frying them. So we're gonna try that today. I 
I take my pan off, it's getting so hot. So the trout did curl up a little bit in the beginning when I put them in, but when I flipped them over, they flatten right out again. So it kind of does work. Whoa, it's really coming down out there. I was hoping the rain would let up so we could do some more wood cutting.